like a new rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring the little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And I have a bit of a scoop. I, I'm, a, I'm kind of amazed, but I do. I actually have a bit of a scoop. I don't think anybody else knows about this. Uh, uh, and honestly... It's just because nobody else is really looking, right? It's just because nobody else is looking. Uh, uh, the ratings are way worse, way worse than what we thought. They are, uh, um, uh, well, we're going to go into it, right? We're going to go into it. It's really bad. Uh, uh, yeah, I keep saying that this year is narrative hitting reality. The reality is uh, Jodie Whittaker's Doctor Who is an utter failure, much like most of the BBC output. It's an utter, utter failure. And how can I say that with so much certainty? Because there are things called metrics, right? Numbers. Now, the people who very much like uh, the Jodie Whittaker era, much like the people who very much like Doctor Who, they, they are, are quite on top of the metric. At least they were when they proved their point. When they, when they uh, disproved their point, they don't matter so much anymore. Oh, pish posh. Yeah, no, that, that's not, that's not sad or anything. Uh, uh, no, the metrics are, are awful. Awful. I mean, much, again much worse than we thought they were, uh, they were going to be. We're also going to be looking at a couple, a couple of other stories. It de honestly, it depends how much time it's go we're going to put in, into the ratings. Um, I got, got weird stories. Weird stories that we're going to look at I, that I uh, uh, don't really, uh, I couldn't really attest to the uh, veracity of. Uh, fine, before we get into it, can you hit the like button? Fan Dabby Double Dozy. Can you hit the share button? Fan Dabby Double Dozy. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, 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 I'm genuinely grateful. Uh, subscribe if you're on Rumble or YouTube. Just hit that subscribe button, baby. That will, that will make a rabbi happy. Uh, and, you know, uh, it, but, uh, listen, I have plenty of opportunities of that. I live in... Uh, uh, you know, well, listen, I can, I can make me happy anytime I want. I, I, uh, so, you know, I, I'm, 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 you know, I'm on call for my, my own happiness. But you, you poor people, uh, you don't have a rabbi on hand to make happy. Fortunately, I'm here for you. That, see, that's the wonders of the interwebs. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. I will endeavor to reply to, to, uh, all your comments. Uh, uh, and so my sub stat, my, if this, is, this video is going out on Sunday, I'm recording it on Friday. I hope there's no new news over the next 24 hours, right? I hope there's nothing new we've got to add into this. And, and I think we're okay. I mean, listen, I'm glad this video isn't about, about Whoopi Goldberg. I put, I'm, I put, I'm recording this on Friday, right? Uh, uh, and I'm putting a video out about that thing, which I recorded on, I think, Thursday. Maybe Wednesday or Thursday? I think Thursday. No, it was Wednesday, right? Uh, and already the story's moved on. By the time you see this, God only knows what's going to be happening. But uh, 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 I think we're pretty safe. Hopefully there won't be any new... Unless... But I'm mad. Can you believe... Yeah, if they announce a new Doctor, like, Sunday morning. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, I guess I guess I gotta I I guess I gotta make another video. Is is, is what what I guess is gonna happen. So yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment, sign up to my subset. Subset keeps keep you informed. I kind of use it as a uh, uh, as a Twitter replacement. Cause Twitter, uh, uh, and also put tons of comics out there. Anyway, if it's this goes out on Sunday, the Ice Warriors is going out on Sunday. It's a one page strip I do every week. I really like it. Okay, and listen, I know I'm biased, but I really like it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, uh, kind of the same tradition as the Dalek strip, uh, Ice Warriors at uh, the Overman's. Uh, yeah, look, if you can sign up for my my uh, subset, that'd be freaking awesome. I have a paid version, uh, uh which I won't discourage you from. Okay, I will not discourage you from. Bye, let's get into the news. Now, first, uh, uh, this comes from the new issue of Doctor Who magazine. A good issue. Listen, I do I do uh, uh, reviews of Doctor Who magazine every uh, every month, and it's been awful issue after awful issue after awful issue. Finally, finally, I mean, the, you know, the, the stars aligned, and they actually put together, purely by luck, a good issue, right? For many, many, many reasons. Uh, uh, not least, uh, uh, we're going to be looking at the, uh, this story here page overview public image poor tom spilsbury listen mate he earns his money i don't know how much they're paying him but they need to pay him more he's he had to find some positive spin uh to give to these ratings which were terrible right the ratings were absolutely terrible so i was aware of the ratings before this article came out uh mainly because this site's very good doctor who tv uk. they have it laid out every way so uh, the special got a 3.21 overnight. Now remember that. 3.21 overnight. And then con consolidated that can build up to 4.3, which means uh, uh essentially anybody who watched it on iPlayer in the uh, uh within the first seven days of transmission, 
plus uh, uh, not the overnight, but, uh, plus uh, uh, the people live is, you know, is this figure, right? Uh, uh, so uh, 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 that's, you know, four, it's still not very, very good. Still not very, very good at all. Uh, um, and then uh, that got bumped up a little bit more for if you count people. Now, I do, I do want to stress that they do count people who watch it for two Then you're considered a full view. I would love to see data uh, uh, without spin, right? I love to see data without spin. I love to see, like, yeah, if somebody watched half of it, give them half of you. If somebody watched 10% of it, give them 10% of you. And then let's see what the, the, this data is, because uh, uh, there is a, was it, 2 point, uh, two point no, no, one point two million jump uh, because of a, a seemingly a one point two million uh, person bump. I, I I doubt I doubt that's really one point two million. I I reckon when you get down to it, it might be two hundred thousand. Right, it might be two hundred thousand. We got to three point. Well, that's my get. Look, this is my prejudicial guess. But anyway, this is the data we've had thus far. Right, this is the data we have. Thus far. And what I like to do is compare it against uh, uh, the entirety of Doctor Who. But 3.21, the lowest rated episode um, uh, before that is over here, Battlefield. Battlefield, uh, Sylvester McCoy's first story from 89. Uh, I, the story I liked a lot, right? It went out September uh, se September 6, 1989. So, and it, uh, if you we look at the ratings, you'll see, unlike Jodie Whittaker's time, uh, uh, it got uh, the first episode was a three point one. That's the lowest rate. Point one, then three point nine, three point six, and four point nine. And listen, I understand it wasn't doing that great in the viewers. It was a bit of a cheap production. If you want to give uh, Battlefield another go, I really recommend the Blu-ray or DVD version. They got a uh, one two special effects and uh, and better editing. Um, I think it's much better, right? I think it really is a lot better. Uh, uh, well, you know, so those ratings are going up now, as opposed to Jodie Whittaker's ratings that went down. <laughs> okay, down, down, down. Uh, uh, so three point. That's what I've been measuring against. I, I figured the overnight rating uh, must be the same as the uh, this, this figure, three point one. So yeah, uncomfortably for me because I want to say Jodie Whittaker is the lowest rated ever, the lowest, lowest rated ever. I can't say that because. The the 3.1 was uh, Sylvester McCoy with the 3.21 with uh, uh, yeah, even the Daleks, right? So still, Joan is not the lowest rated ever, quite quite annoyingly so, right? Quite annoying so. Or is she? Or is she? Now, along comes Tom Spillery. Poor, poor old Tom Spillery. Uh, uh, his job is to put a positive... Uh, uh, but I don't know why. I don't know. I, honestly, I mean... I get they got to maintain good relations with with Cardiff, but uh, um, I I really don't understand why they can't why we can't have anything getting close to an honest debate within the pages of this magazine that's supposed to serve the community which I consider myself a part of. Right? Why can't we have the debate? I, I mean, uh, um, I, look honestly, I I think in the in the eighties we did have that debate about John Nathan Turner. Uh, to a certain degree, but not that much. But the, and the reason uh, 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 the what fancy that became huge, DWB Doctor Who Bulletin, and the, which, which then went on to be, which was a great magazine uh, in the early night in the nineties. Yeah, it went on to be dream. The reason it, it did so because that would have that conversation. Now it was by Ian Levine that hated John Nathan Turner, but we had there was some kind of discussion about it, and this whitewash. This isn't really working at all. It's, it's re again uh, the 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 narrative's falling apart. We we know how bad it's going. But anyway, so Tom Spilsbury here in this article, which we're going to read in a minute, wants to show you how important the catch up ratings are, and he can't really look at you know the initial overnights. And in doing so, he drops a bit of a secret. Right, he drops a bit of a secret. Let's have a look at the, the figures he. Like, so uh, even the Daleks uh, have over here January first twenty. From Barb, UK, listing the live figures, not the overnight figures, and the live figures are shocking, right? So the live figure for Eva the Daleks was just two. Million. People watched it live, right? Which means, which is two million as opposed to three point two one, which means they also they added in two million plus one point two one million people who watched it for minutes or more 
on iPlayer. Right? Two minutes of all right. Now, the two million, they can't really get away, f uh, away from uh, a third party hoarding it. Barb. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, but the, and so this data isn't normally the one presented. So I went over to Barb and say, well, let's find out why this data isn't presented. So let's, uh, I went over to Barb and, and you got to subscribe. So how do you subscribe? You, you sign an end user agreement, full volumes on Barb data intended for internal use only and offered via, uh, annual end user agreement from the Barb, uh, uh, Barb Rich, the data processing for the annual user Limited uses license fee. Okay, this is the limited one, right? Uh, is in addition to the cost of the data. And this is for data costing up to a maximum of £1,450, right? 10% uh, of the amount invoiced with a minimum cost of 400 You're spending at least £400, at least £400 to be able to get into the data that you want. That's why uh, 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 we don't really see it that often, apart from people who are partisans. Who, who want to put a positive spin on it? Uh, which is exactly what Mr. Spilbury wants to do over here, because he wants to show how much it it, it grew in the uh, 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 in the catch up. Um, but what they've done, they've they they I think they 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 this is kind of a bombshell to me. It shows that uh, uh, yeah, we've been waiting for Jodie Whittaker to be the lowest rated ever. Looks like she has been for a while, and I would like to go back to Capaldi and see what his view, viewing figures were. I don't think they're anything like. I, I don't think they're anything like as uh, these live viewing figures. And I think the live viewing figure is the only one, is the only fair viewing figure to uh, compare against Battlefield 3.1. So I say that that live figure is 3.1. And people say, but people consume media differently today. Not that much. Not, I mean, they do and they don't. We had video cassette record. We had, you know, VCLs, they got. We had videos in, in, in England in 89. Everybody used them. Everybody used them for everything. You will recall stuff and you watch it. It's just, here's the thing, though. The kids who stream that uh, uh, it's not the worst ever have no knowledge of that, right? Because it happened 10 seconds before. Right? So they have no knowledge what life was like in 1989. They think it's some kind of racist hellscape. And by the way, the reason they want to erase all history, and they really, really do, is because they don't want you to know what racism really is. Right, they don't want it because that way they can say racism, whatever it is. But anyway, this three point one, which was the lowest rated ever, is significantly higher than the uh, than anything Joda's got. This with Flux and Flux, I think, is the strongest one she does. So I would love. I'm not paying four hundred pounds or fifteen hundred pounds to find out how much it sucks compared to J uh, Jodie Whittaker. But this is why. We, we haven't got the stage around yet. I'm not a news organization. And, and, and you know, this is only of interest to spotty little nerds sitting in their basements. So I'm not, I, I, you know, I don't have a spare 1,500 pounds to put, put into this. But I would love to see that data. But this, I think, I think we can uh, say that Jody Whitaker is significant, significant. Prime. So uh, let's see it here. Mr. Spills, he has to spin this. He pulls it. Uh, and again, listen, I understand. The, the the BBC licenses publication. They, if they upset, they're essentially their bosses, right? If they upset them, um, they would lose the license. But honestly, uh, I think there's a way. Uh, there's got to be some kind of way of addressing how this era has gone down. I mean, by the way, if you want to see sheer delusion, absolute sheer delusion, there's a interview with Tom Spilsbury. Um, which here, let me see if I can find the. Uh, uh, the page run is it, it 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 it's insane. I think it's over here somewhere. Maybe well, um, uh, we're getting close. Yeah. Um. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Listen, it is it, it, talking. Um. So now he says, "Are the BBC happy as us?" I think they're happy. He nods. Of course, you get the odd juggernaut like Vigil, which seemed to be wasn't wagging its finger at people, telling them that they're evil faces. Uh, uh, just actually trying to do a drama. Uh, but by and large, uh, five odd million is really healthy for any drama on terrestrial. Not really. Not really. It's, it's actually healthy for anything on terrestrial because uh, uh, terrestrial is done very badly, right? Because it, it, much like most entertainment industry, Everything, everything is crammed full of 
ideology that nobody's interested in or agrees with, right? So he, he's saying, no, we're doing great. It, it is totally we're in great position. Yeah, five odd million. Again, if you ignore the 50% of the audience that walked away, and not just from Doctor Who, from everything, everything that you put out, you're doing okay. If you don't ignore them, you look like you've done terribly. So I think our ratings are really respectable. I don't. I, I think 2 million on your special with 3.1. Okay, compare it to a midweek battlefield, right? Mid Was it mid? It was, uh, was it back on uh, uh, midweek? I think it was. I think it was back on mid. Uh, does it? It doesn't have the, the, the day of change. They have the day. I'm not. September 6th. Hey, fine. I'll look it up. September 6th, 1989. Let's have a look. Let's see what. Um, what's, uh, what day of the week was September 6th? September 6th. Day of the, just tell me the day. Okay. That, Wednesday, midweek, right? Midweek. Okay, midweek, graveyard shift. I mean, absolute graveyard shift. Uh, Under-promoted. Uh, I wonder what time it was on. Like, against Coronation Street. Or 3.1 million, right? Cody Whitaker, two. So you're not doing good, right? You're not doing good. Uh, okay, but here's it. When the overnight figures are reported and compared to previous consolidated figures, in all the... Uh, make some dramatic headline that you suck. Uh, that's a bit disingenuous. No, the disingenuous bit is not is not connect, comparing apples to apples. In fact, you should have you should be putting the live viewing figures, not the overnight. Right, the overnight uh, is again the live figures plus people who watch it for on iPlayer. Right, I I don't think that's quite as accurate. Uh, uh, um. Uh, indicator, I think, and I think it's that I think you're doing that to be disingenuous, right? Everything you say is the opposite. And again, the the the, the narrative has hit, hit the reality. The narrative that everybody loves as best ever has hit the reality over here. See, if you're looking not looking at it, just look at the chart. This is the reality. Yes, you've lost fifty percent. Fine. So let's see how they're going to spin that. Um, this is again. And this is basically Tom's, but he just can't do it at this point, right? I mean, like, I, I just, I don't know. Uh, it does sometimes feel as if public image is caught in a time loop. Not really. Uh, again, in 17 years since we reported the huge audience for Rose, Dr. Magazine 356, which amazed everybody, right? Amazed Russell D. Davis. Everybody said, oh, God, that was going to You forget, right? You forget 2000. They said, it's never going to go. Uh, uh, you know, and they even said it wasn't going to go with the McGann one, which got over nine million, right? And it was like, oh, they said that, oh, but the, the Americans didn't. Um, there have been absolutely t uh, terrific reasons to write about. Uh, uh, yes, the ones without Jodie Whittaker, no, uh, and plenty more have been perfectly ordered. I would say that's true of most of Capaldi, but I think, I think he was in 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 the upper echelon, right? Of uh, normally in the top ten of uh, um. Do they have this? Uh, no, they don't. They don't have probably in like like the top ten. Um, and their uh, AIs were uniformly over eighty. Well, yeah, look, look, just look at this. Oh, the AIs uniformly under eighty. One time he dipped under eighty, right? Uh, um, yeah, probably. And every time a Doctor Who, uh, Doctor Who's viewing figures are ordinary, you get a column like this one. It's, they're not ordinary. They're disastrous. I'm going to say it again. Two million. Two million. That's not ordinary, mate. Right? That's ordinary if Doctor Who was doing much worse than it was under, under Percy McCoy. Right? Uh, so with that in mind, we can tell you that 4.4 million watched even the Daleks within seven days. Of Why don't you go, go with the two million? Right? Or the 3.2? No, no. Four point. Oh, you're going to within seven days of transmission because you're trying to make it sound bad. Make it the 26th most watched program, uh, given revolution, uh, given the revolution of Daleks, uh, it was well, one year earlier was seen by 6.36 million viewers. You see, listen, you were lo locked in your houses, right? You had no choice, uh, uh, and so that might have helped. That and also, it was it was a good year since it had been on, so people forgot how all that I really think that's a massive factor. People forgetting how un 
unbelievably awful Doctor Who is. Uh, I mean, Jodie Whittaker's Doctor Who. So, yeah, and this one came off, they're going to talk about it in a minute, it came off flux. And people re remembered how bad Doctor Who was. It was still in living memory, right? They were like... Um, uh, so he got uh, three point uh, three six million viewers and Mar uh, and finished the week in tenth place. Uh, so you know the they they keep going to the relative placing of uh, uh, ratings, right? Like like where like what position it is uh, to say it hasn't really declined. Even that's the way they ignore the fifty percent of the audience. They 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 chased away, right? That's exactly how they do it. Um, so they uh, 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 so this is a huge decline. It, they went from uh, ten slipped up down to twenty six, and, and you know, I I keep, I maintain that the best work the Chib uh, team have done has been this year has been Flux and Eve the Daleks, like significantly the best work that they've done. Uh, not good. I'm not saying it's good work, but significantly the best work they've done has been Flux. Uh, and, and but good enough because people. people People don't. You don't get your ratings on on the strength of the episode. You get the, ra the ratings on what on what people think the episodes be like, which is based on previous episodes. That's why Christopher Eccleston's uh, early ratings at AI were low, right? Because people were like, oh, what's this? I don't know. Within three four weeks of of, uh, of Rose, that that first episode, he was getting huge ratings, like absolutely solid rating, much better than uh, uh, Jodie Whittaker. Uh, you only know, indeed, even the Daleks has now the unfortunate distinction of being the lowest rated episode of Doctor Who since uh, the 2005 return. I don't even think that's fair. I think it's the lowest rated episode ever, right? I think it's the lowest rated episode ever. If you're comparing apples to apples, it's the lowest rated episode ever, and for good reason. I, I look shoddy though Battlefield is, and and again, the original edit is shockingly. Right, and it's just like, oh god, it's so bad. I mean, the whole boom thing, like, oh, I, I, I don't know how that made transmission. Right, if you've ever seen it, you got Ace and uh, who was it? I can't remember the name of the it, her, her her friend she meets. Right, uh, uh, and he's talking about uh, blowing up the art room, and it's just really clunkily directed. Oh yeah, I threw the nitro light in the clothes, and it went boom. How did it go? It went boom, boom, and it's like a minute, and then go. Boom! 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 Oh God! It's so... uh, uh, and then, and then a bomb goes. It's just, it's, it's so badly directed. Okay, it's really quite painful. But anyway, compared, they're still better than the weirdos of uh, even the Daleks with your creepy Nick, who ends up being a romantic hero somehow. Somehow, I don't know how that worked out, but uh, uh, somehow. Uh... The lowest rated episode ever, but it beat the last lowest rated episode, which was Village of the Angels. One of the most popular episodes, I would say, of the season. Uh, uh, but it came off the uh, one of the least most least popular episodes. That's why it did very well at 4.75. Well, let's see what the live viewers were. Uh, 2.31. Who are you trying to kid? Like, who are you? Even Revolution of the Daleks got Battlefield. Unbelievable. I mean, this is just unbelievable. Uh, was it episode of the uh, like just a few weeks earlier? It's su it's surprising that this has happened with a special. No, because uh, it yeah, uh, as historically the season one offs have been performed uh better than the regular episodes. Yes, we know that. With nearly all of them, bar 2019's resolution at no uh, uh at number fourteen, making the top ten programs. Yes. Because they're not very good. Reason Resolution did bad. It just came off season eleven. Season eleven was, uh, uh, if we're going to go for the technical term, garbage. Hot garbage. Uh, and that's why people did didn't watch it that much. Uh, making this week's uh, top ten programs. Traditionally, the these special have succeeded in tempting extra viewers and perhaps uh, only watch Doctor Who once a year. So why the sharp decline in ratings and sharp position? Oh, who knows? Why could that be? Oh, I don't know. We're all yeah, science. Must be science, right? Must be science and COVID uh, and, and 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 no, it's the people who are who haven't got the vaccination, right? People who the anti vaxxers That's why they got bad rates because the anti vaxxers Obviously, of now it all makes sense. Thank you very much. Um, it's because it's shit. 
that everybody hate. I mean, like, how hard is that to work out? Because it's shit that everybody... Why is nobody watching? Because it's shit! That nobody wants... I mean, honestly, let me see what's happening in CNN right now. I, it's really imploding in real time. In real life, all their, all their anchors are have been fired and disgraced and present just... It's, oh god, it's just falling apart. They get their their ratings. They get like during daytime, hundred thousand viewers. They don't even hit a million. They get they get they don't even get close to Jody numbers. That's how bad it is, right? Uh, and they're like, well, why? Why wouldn't people trust them? Because you lied nonstop for years and years and years. That's why nobody listens to you, CNN. Why does nobody watch this doctor? Because it's shit. Ah. How hard is that to work out? Really? See, this is the trouble with over-educated idiots. And you know, just having a college degree doesn't necessarily mean you're intelligent. It might do, but probably doesn't. Uh, uh, over-educated idiots will just find ways of justifying their own. But now, reality is hitting the, uh, 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 the narrative and Tom Spilsbury spinning, spinning, trying to work out how to, how to cope with it. Uh, there are a few factors. Yes, the first one is Jodie Whittaker is shit. Uh, she's a terrible, terrible uh, casting choice for Doctor, and the scripts are all right. They're the two things, right? I want. I wonder. Are you going to mention them, Tom? Are you going to bring them up? Right now, I understand. The new job's work. Uh, there have been a few factors. Firstly, Doctor was scheduled against a much tougher competition than it's, it's been used. Excuse me. Battlefield was scheduled against uh, 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 Coronation Street and did better. Um, so what is this? What is this incredible competition that also scheduled? And deck maybe? Oh, do they have a new Downton Abbey special movie? Yeah, that will get people. What is that? No, the Mask Singer. The Mask Singer. Like, I, I, I could you imagine? Could you imagine? They bring uh, uh, Verity Lambert back to life, right? They re-inhabit, uh, reanimate. Well, let's say they do a like a computer. Well, let, let her rest in peace, Paul. Or Verity, and she she looks at the viewing figure and says, "Well, that's quite low. What's going on?" And she says, "Oh no, TV audience in general, they're more dispersed now. Uh, Netflix, uh, uh, YouTube." Is that okay? But but and it was also against much t a tougher competition. Really, was a tough competition, right? Are they make, remaking the Duchess of Duke Street? Well, what was it? Was it uh, upstairs, downstairs? I don't know. What was this strong competition? The Masked Singer should be dead again in two minutes if she sings like that. That garbage! That garbage! Like, what What on earth is, is like, could Doctor Who be like if that beat it? Um, darling, you don't want to watch. You don't want to watch. It'll, it'll upset you. Uh, was one of the biggest entertainment hits of 2021, averaging 8 million views a week. The Surreal Singing Contest launched the third series directly opposite, opposite Doctor Who at 7 p.m. Listen, I am sorry. I am sorry that, uh, 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 then the other channel has has more popular programs than you do, right? I am the but yes, okay. Your so your argument right now is but but Doctor Who is less popular than the well Yes! Yes! That's my point too! Moron! Yes! Yes, Doctor Who is less popular. Yes, you are oh, you noticed? Really? Really? Yes, that's correct. Um okay. <laughs> uh the, the, um. So, uh, attracting a less than anticipated 5.21 million viewers. Cause that shit as well. Who gives a damn? I mean, really. So it didn't demolish Doctor. Kind of did. Kind of did. Um. Demolish Doctor. It does. I can't believe you put the 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 the, the, the live uh, view figures. I mean, really. What a way to blow up your own argument. Um. Uh. It does seem the two shows may have split the prime time audience. Uh, Susan might have split the prime with families choosing one or the other. No, no, people just aren't interested. Okay, people are not interested in in, in garbage tier TV. Really, that's basically the bottom line. Jodie Whittaker isn't very good as a doctor. Chris Chimnall is way worse as a Doctor Who showrunner and writer. Uh, viewers had an easier choice later that evening as BBC once launched. Uh, a new drama, The Taurus, which attracted 8.69 million views. Oh, so they may say popular. Yeah, okay. Right now, you're just saying there are popular shows and unpopular shows, and Doctor Who is one of the unpopular shows. I'm like, again, yes. Yes. That's the point I've been kind of making, too, right? That's the point I've been making, too. 
Uh, and then the fireworks, and using fireworks got 10.11 million. Uh, perhaps the only show where they could be, uh, uh, people can tune in with a, any vague hope of not being lectured or bored, which again, you get a lot of in Jodie Whittaker Doctor Who. Secondly, New Year's Day has never been uh, quite uh, quite as good as uh, for bringing in additional viewers to Doctor Who. So why was Doctor Who moved from its prime Christmas Day spot over to New Year's Day? Why did that happen? Oh, right, right, right. That's Chris Chibnall's uh, uh, creative choice, isn't it? So you're saying Chris Chibnall's creative choice uh, has, re has reduced viewers? Yes! Yes, it has! Yes, that's correct. That's exactly what's happened. Um... We can only speculate what that might be. Christmas is okay. You can only speculate. Okay, Christmas time. Christmas time is when you spend time together with the family. It's nice, right? And you have a you know, big Christmas dinner together, and you sit by the TV and watch your James Bond movie. You watch your, and it, you have a nice time, right? It's a nice, warm family time of togetherness. New Year's Eve, you wake up for New Year's Day. You wake up from you know or being on the piss the night before. If you're lucky, you're not naked in an unfurnished apartment in Morocco with your car keys up your ass, right? If that hasn't happened, uh, you wake up and you stagger around and like, oh, God, I just want to die. By the way, by the way, you should know this. I am 50 now. Uh, this kind of hit him when I was 45. This is like you got to uh, uh, prepare yourself for that. Oh, my God. Recovering from being drunk when you're older is a, night used to a nightmare. Used to be when I was like 20, I would go, okay, legless. Like, rat ass, me on rat ass. Next day, fine. <laughs> Next day, I'll wake up, watch, watch a bit of Network 7 in bed. Oh, uh, blimey, I'm dating myself now. A bit of dick spanner. <laughs> God. Uh, uh, but yeah, you know, but just, what well, didn't even notice it. Now, I, now uh, uh, when I get drunk, it's a, night, we, we, it's a nightmare. We have this holiday called Purim coming. It's in, uh, that. Uh, five and a half weeks, right? Five and a half weeks, and the set. This is, I should say, you know, we have a holiday. Yeah, with the Jews. Okay, that's that. I'm saying we is. Uh, uh, about where the central observance of it is drinking to the point where you can't tell just an evil. It's kind of an idea to free out your um rational mind, right, and and become more intuitive. Quite like, right? Quite like drink. However, the recovery from that it takes me days now. Literally days. I'm about the only person I know gets like, well, because it was like, ew, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm like, dude, 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 if if you don't eat for 25 hours on like the high, like Yom Kippur, which is a high, high holy day, uh, uh, I'm going to go on the piss on Purim. It's like, you know, like, you can't do one and not the other. I, I, I personally, I'm like, uh, I, I'm going to go on the piss, uh, uh, which I would recommend uh, 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 the Earth One Mrs. We give that a go as well. Uh, uh, fine. We can only speculate why families aren't what don't want to watch TV on you because they're hungover rather than having a lovely time together. Uh, more than Gary and Chris say. But here's the thing: the, the mentality behind moving it from day uh, uh, showed a complete lack of understanding what Christmas Day is. I mean, an English Christmas is so much better than American Christmas. Probably better than any Christmas. In the world. I, I love. And I'm Jewish, okay? Like, we're not normally on board for that. <laughs> I, I love English Christmas. It is awesome beyond awesome beyond awesome. Uh, so much better than American Christmas. But, like, having great TV on as part of English Christmas. It, having great TV on is not part of, uh, 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 of New Year's Day. It's not, like, a national tradition. Yes, you normally get, well, again, when he's watching, you normally got the plot line that was started on Christmas. And EastEnders, like, hit another point. So, uh, last I remember that was when Janine was bumping off Barry. <laughs> Again, I'm dating myself, right? I'm, I'm, the only reason I remember that is because they always had him on uh, Extras, uh, Ricky Gervais' show Extras. Uh, uh, <laughs> so it's like, I, I love that. Anyway, I, I digress. Back to, see, I just want to talk about things that, uh, that interest me, which is not Jodie Whittaker's absolute failure. Um, you can only speculate. You, no, you, exactly. You don't understand Christmas because it is a. Uh, it's essentially a biblical holiday, like as a holiday that uh, that has uh, biblical, and they hate anything to do with the Bible. And by a Bible, essentially, bottom line, that's really what it is. They hate uh, 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 the ever cultural divide. On one side of it is people absolutely, absolutely every fiber of their being hate 
uh, anything about about uh, 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 biblical Judeo-Christian uh, uh, morality and want to get rid of everything. And I was like, people, not necessarily religious, people are like, okay with it, right? <laughs> They're like, oh, I, 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 I'm fine. Um, but they hate, that's why I was taking on Christmas. Obviously, obviously is what I was taking on Christmas. A third possible factor is even though it was shit! <laughs> Again, still one of their better episodes. It was still shit, but one of their better episodes. It just a few uh, weeks after the Vanquishers. That's the big factor because people remembered how bad Doctor Who is. And the Vanquishers was a really bad episode where nothing made sense and was paid off, right? It was just like the Doctor committing genocide three times over. I'd like, oh, such an incredible lack of understanding. Of the character. I mean, like, really, it's like, it wouldn't be any weirder than, than if, like, Eccleston started pissing in Rose's mouth. Or like, oh, no, I don't know where that came from, but like, Ugh. like, I would not want to see that, okay? I would, like, yeah, but it wouldn't be any weirder. Like, 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 like that, and her committing genocide. It, it was just, I guess maybe that, okay, maybe Rose is infected with some kind of alien virus and the only way to get rid of it is having a time will piss in your mouth. There's, okay, I've just retconned it, okay? But that's not what I was thinking. That is not what I was thinking. I'm just thinking. Okay, I'm just thinking it'd be a bit strange. Um, much like committing genocide three times over. Uh, uh, yeah, so they remember how bad the freaking Vanquishers was. Yeah, it was uh, so there's a possibility uh, that the viewers perceive it as just another episode. Just another episode of unwatchable shit. Yes, they did perceive it as just another episode of unwatchable shit because it was just another episode of unwatchable shit, right? Just another episode of unwatchable shit. I wonder, what, what, what they have on here? Let's have a look over to... Look at Christmas Day TV. Christmas Day TV 2022. Let, let's, what do they actually have on on, uh, on Christmas TV dot we UK Christmas dot we right? So it's, 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 if this one, what could they, they? I think that would have this episode would have worked would have worked better on Christmas. They bump on Christmas. Ah, uh, uh, it's raining and it's Friday morning. Which the internet? Uh, uh, oh, let's see. Ground strictly come dancing. God. Exactly. Uh, what's on BBC at Christmas? Uh, I've been around the world in eight days. I quite like that. Uh, 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 but uh, I, I guess we're never going to find out. This one. Going to give it another click. Uh, nine minute tune in for the uh, uh, the Queen message. Queen's message is Doctor Who. Boy, we're not going to find out what they could have done on Christmas Day instead. But I think they could have put it on Christmas Day. They probably would have done better with it. It probably actually probably would have done good for Doctor Who, right? Uh, uh, if, if again, if uh, uh, what's the name? What what if uh, uh, Doctor Who bad? It got it got horrible reviews. Everybody disliked it. Okay, it didn't go down well. I don't know how to say this in, in a clearer way. Um, just another episode rather than uh, uh, than an event. It, not that they, they didn't realize an event. They realized it was. As ever, we should stress that pulling in more than 4 million views is still a decent size uh, hit this day and age. E even the Dalek, hopefully, inside this week's top 30. Really? Two, two columns ago, you said every other episode, apart from Revolution, uh, Resolution, uh, uh, was in the top 10. Being in the top 30 shows a very bad drop. Uh, after all, ahead of other programs, uh, uh, other news shows like Weakest Link without Anne Roberts, 3.3, barely beating Michael McKinter's The Wheel, Mrs. Brown Boys. I mean, honestly, is Mrs. Brown Boys on 24-7? I, I, I think it's the only show they make at the BBC. Uh, and Downton Abbey movie from what? That's like three, four years old. Uh, uh, listen. If I'm going to watch something with Lily James in it, I'm going for Pam and Tommy, okay? That's that's the next thing I want to see with Lily James. Like, oh, yeah, this thing. Uh, what's the... They have on. They had Weakest Link, uh, Strictly Come Dancing. And they could have put it on instead of Weakest Link. Like, yeah, or instead of Superman and Lois. I think the Superman and Lois slot would pro uh, they probably would have done better with. I, I think they but it's, it's more of a kiddie show now, right? So I think that, yeah, I think if they put it on there, they probably would have done better all week. 
Um, yeah, yeah, that that's what 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 I, I would have recommended. Uh, okay. Uh, weakest link. Uh, oh, one sec. That, that was from. I got three point three on New Year's. Not. Uh, the Will and Downton Abbey. Uh, Downton Abbey movie. Yes, that's how I said I wanted to see see the Pam and Tom. <laughs> yes, I, 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 yes, I do. And it, honestly, uh, if I if I was going to come up with my 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 ultimate uh, fantasy, Lily James playing Pamela Anderson, I, I'm like, okay. Okay, I think I'm up for all of that. Yeah, every part of that sentence works for me. Right, Lily James playing Pamela Anderson. I'm a child of the eighties. I I I remember I remember Pamela Anderson with 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 a with a a warm glow. Let's put it that way. Not not as warm as the glow as I remember Nicola Bryant with. It's just really true. Uh, uh, now that'll be the crossover. Oh, the Perry Bay Perry arrives in Baywatch. Yes, yes. Yes, because, okay, anybody working in some kind of fan fiction? Let me, uh, 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 finally, we can report the 28 figures for Flux. As you can see, so every chapter has gained an additional half million uh, who watched it after. Well, oh, again, two minutes or more. That's it, two minutes or more. Oh, well, wow, that freaked me out. Gained a half million, um, which they're expecting to happen to. Uh, um, uh, even the Daleks. I don't think it's going to get four million more, uh, half a million more. And I really, I just, I don't trust these. Okay, I just don't trust these at all. Uh, I reckon, like, when it's a bad episode, once upon time, for example, but that got, uh, that went up from oh, there, half a million. Right, you're right. So you're looking at five point one three, uh, for, like lower than the Vanquisher. Uh, so, uh, how do you think uh, was it uh, Legend of the, uh, of the Sea Devils will do? Probably, uh, I don't know. You see, here's the thing: it's going to be a few months. People might have forgotten how bad Doctor. Who is. That's the big. I think that's the absolute big factor. Uh, news in the Radio Times uh, this morning came from uh, um, the, the Matt Stream in the View saying Jodie Whittaker's final Doctor Who episodes are locked, says producer. Uh, uh, 13 will bow out with a special episode uh, due to LA for this year, and that's going to be the worst of the worst, right? I, if, if you watched um, Time of the Doctor, uh, Matt Smith's last episode, which I really like. Man, is that a complex fan wanky episode. With like tying up together all the plot uh, plot threads of the Matt Smith era. And Again, I like the episode a lot. I really do. I, I, I um, man, a lot of people in the comments are saying, you know, let's just, uh, uh, uh if, we go, if we're going to cast Tenet as Doctor, why don't make him the 10th and just forget about Matt Smith? <laughs> and Capaldi, why well, Matt Smith and Capaldi? Uh, Jordy Whittaker and Sharon Christian was tenure as, uh, the approaching, uh, are approaching, uh, their conclusions of their careers. <laughs> Which is two further specials to come before the next chapter of BBC's long-running series begins. 13 will bam wow in a special episode airing later this year as part of the BBC Centenary Specials. What fantastic, fantastic cast. Right? What a fantastic thing. Nothing says the BBC in 2022 than uh, um, Doctor Who. Right? Doctor Who is everything the BBC is in 2022, which is why BBC is needed. Uh, new interview in Doctor Who magazine. He said, well, he said, well I'm still around. I'm still around. Uh, I'll pop back for a bit of post-production, but the specials are locked, and by large, uh, I've left now. What are we doing now? I wonder his new job. Uh, so he's saying he walked around the sta stages and blah, 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 blah. Uh, Matt Street. <laughs> Let's just, should we look him up on IMDb before we go? Let's have a look. We'll go on IMDb. Com. Does he have a new job, right? What's his new job? What could it be? Uh, this uh, uh, this the uh, Halo series. Uh, um, I'm pretty sure it's Misfits. Yeah, nothing says Matt Streep is like his picture over here. Uh, let's see what he's working on now. Baked beans. Baked beans. Okay. He's the executive producer. Nicole, a single mom facing financial hardships with the oldest is autistic. Bloody hell. God, this sounds more down with the Doctor Who. Uh, and will only eat baked beans has reached a point where he uh, he has to use local food bank to feed his family. Okay, and I guess they don't have so much baked beans. Um, 
Okay. Well, good luck with that. Who cares? Okay, like, okay, so in some kind of short film, it doesn't seem to be like the, you, that, that says step up in you. Okay? That doesn't seem to be like you, you're that well. Okay. It's by uh, Jennifer Bullock. She wrote and... I, whatever. Are, are you ever going to see that? No. <laughs> no, that's never going to happen. Uh, uh, so there we go. I guess we're not getting to the, 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 the other news stories, which, to be fair, were reasonably... Well, I'll show you the headlines. I'll show you why we're not going to them. Uh, David Tennant is returning as an October rumors stoked by very reliable podcast. Who is this very reliable podcast? Um, because I don't believe it. Uh, last month, blah 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 blah. The original tip, blah 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 blah. blah. Um, okay, the salt. Uh, and now a new fan claims that rumors are true after a very reliable podcast confirmed the Scottish actor will be returning to a series of specials before uh handing his time over. I mean, it's not inconceivable, right? Uh, salt also claims uh, David Tennant will be playing the 14th Doctor with Catherine Tate, but not Noble. The idea, blah, 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 blah. What podcast? They're like, citation. Really? Honestly, look, I, 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 don't know, I, I say bollocks too, you know? I don't know. Um, so that's that's the first story. And the second story, we should not read it for good bloody reason. Uh, talk to you, new missing episodes. Held to rants in the Middle East. Claim emerges online. Again. Plymouth Live. What is up with Plymouth Live? Like, Elliot Ball... I think he's found a way to get 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 clicked. That's all it is. Um, and he just bollocks people. Fine, okay. So there's a uh, using the political. The seventeen classic stories are being used as a political bargaining in the Middle East. With whom? From what I don't know. I mean, wouldn't it be great if it's true? Uh, uh, yeah, that would be fan fan freaking absolutely fantastic. Uh, 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 <laughs> much like the viewing figures. Thank you very much, Doctor Who Magazine, for uh, inadvertently spilling the beans. And letting us know that Jody is the lowest rated doctor ever. Lowest rated doctor ever for good bloody reason. My name is Sheila Beckin, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. <laughs>